it's not like I was saying, Liz, I quit your job and come move into like my mansion. It was yeah. move into my parents' basement yeah. <laughs> yeah. to live with my mom and dad yeah. and my brother and, and let's it, make videos in the backyard. Yeah, and there was, <laughs> it was amazing. It was, like so much uncertainty. It wasn't like, oh, we're going to offer you X amount of money. It was like, no, like zero dollars. Like we're going to build this thing and we're going to see yeah. how far we can go with it and kind of go off of that. And yeah. And and, taking a path of an entrepreneur is already a huge risk. Doing an entertainment, where yeah. you're you know basically creating a TV program, that's a much higher risk. Disruption. We kind of started out as I imagine, maybe anyone would start out not knowing much about it and kind of just posting videos. And then, uh, so I was also at the same time trying to understand like how people do it for like a job. I didn't get it. Like I was very ignorant on all of it. Like didn't have any concepts. So I remember just kind of looking up like how does YouTube work and at the same time you know I was working at the University of Pennsylvania doing uh, programming self-driving cars so I know like algorithms I know coding microcontrollers all that stuff so I figured if well maybe I can manipulate it and like post videos in a way where I can just kind of game the system and get views and so I came across some of Daryl's stuff where he kind of breaks it down into like certain things to help me like understand. So he had all these videos. So I kind of just watched through all that and everything else I could find to kind of get an idea of how stuff would work. So before you started, you actually referenced Daryl's videos. Yeah. 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 Wow. Hey, hey, look at that. I guess you do. You are good for one something. Subscriber that watched my videos. <laughs> one <laughs> subscriber. Yeah, the rest of them are bots for sure. Those 500,000, you know, they're mostly fake. Yeah. <laughs> no, Carter was so excited. He would like stay up all night and tell me about it in the morning. Up. I'd be like, who is this person? <laughs> well, I was so excited to find, you know, just a great source on, you know, how does this work? Someone kind of did the research for me. So, you know, I just try to absorb as much of that content as I could and apply it. And pretty quickly, that plus just getting more comfortable comfortable in front of the camera and making better content kind of like goes hand in hand. We were able to see like really fast growth. And then pretty quickly, you know, we quit our jobs, just went full time, you know. Like, like how quickly? I actually like the story of when you got started <coughs> and you're like, hey, if we can hit, was it 100,000 subscribers? Or yeah. Quit our jobs and yeah. go all in. And here she's working for LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> so so <laughs> you're, you're working job. for LinkedIn. So, yeah. yeah. So I was working for LinkedIn um, as a technical writer and Carter um, and Steven both got started. And so Carter's like, OK, you know, if we reach 100,000 subscribers, then, yeah, I'm going to quit my job. And so he was telling me all about it. He was so excited and so inspired and motivated. And he's like, Liz if we hit a million subscribers, like, you should quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think, I think this is how the conversation went. It's like, I told her my goal and I said, you know, what would be, what would be your number? You know, what would be your number to quit your job at LinkedIn, which is all the way in California. We were on the East coast and you just, we just graduated. Like you just started your job. You're probably like six months in maybe. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what would it take for you to quit your job? What's your number? She's like, oh, she probably thought of the biggest number she could think of. Yeah. One million. Yeah, one million <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, was like, powers. so I was like, okay, you know, so within like the next four months, we hit a million <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> so, so I, I, I do need to understand this because it's like, when you tell your parents like, oh, by the way, yeah. <laughs> I'm putting LinkedIn to yeah. go make YouTube videos. How did that go over? <laughs> I mean, I remember even just getting my first like offer letter for LinkedIn and being so ecstatic because yeah. that's like my parents' dream come true. That's a big deal. Yeah, that's a, it was an awesome company well, to I mean, work just for right graduating, now. Graduating, yeah. getting into it, like uh, you oh, interned yeah. there too, right? Yeah, all of it was like so amazing. The experience, everything was so perfect, and my parents were so proud of me, and they were just like. You know, I think after college, I was the first one who, like, had a job immediately after I graduated, and I'm, like, the third, so they're like, okay, like, she did it, you know? Yeah. And... And now we're going to quit. I know, you're right? <laughs> like, <laughs> my mom and my dad were... I don't think they understood the concept of it much, but they, you know, and they're super traditional, so they love, you know, that I had a job and all of that, and I could support myself, and, and exactly all the benefits, um... And to just like quit all of that to do this really, you know, it's a, such a, 
a different concept for them that they didn't really understand. Um, but I think they've known Carter for a while and they know how intelligent like, he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I just build stuff in the garage. Exactly. You listen to him? <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, they were like, you know, I think um, you should do you should do what makes you happy. And I think at first they were definitely a little wary. You know, they didn't know what it was going to be about. But I think once they started watching our videos, they became fans and yeah. they would text me ideas and try to, like, get oh, involved. So, so, yeah, it was interesting. They they weren't opposed to it, but they weren't super supportive in the beginning. Um, I think it's what? also really interesting to point out. It's not like I was saying, Liz, I quit your job and come move into like my mansion. It was yeah. move into my parents' basement yeah. <laughs> yeah. to live with my mom and dad yeah. and my brother and, and let's it, make videos in the backyard. Yeah, and there was, <laughs> it, amazing. It was like so much uncertainty. It wasn't like, oh, we're going to offer you X amount of money. It was like, no, like zero dollars. Like we're going to build this thing and we're going to see yeah. how far we can go with it and kind of go off of that and yeah if taking a path of an entrepreneur is already a huge risk doing an entertainment <laughs> where yeah. you're you know basically creating a tv program that's a much higher risk talk about that like talk about the journey like i, I think a lot of creators they struggle with this they, they they're really good at creating content they're not very strategic to say, okay, hey, wait, what if we built our own, you know, clusters of, of content that can, you know, suggest each other the, the content? Because you guys do have a really good job at that. Yeah, I think it really kind of roots from like, you know, having a group of people like Steven and I and Liz, you know, we all... We all, we, so we all started on the same channel, so we all learned how to be more comfortable in front of the camera together, kind of had came up with like our voice. But then, of course, we're different people. We have different interests. You know, like Liz is a great example because when she was going to open her channel, it's pretty obvious that she might do things that are, you know, more girl-focused. You know, she might be doing some more, like, slime stuff or maybe makeup stuff or whatever, you know, her interests are going to be, you know, different than mine because we're different people. So I think that's important to have the differences because you can't all be exactly the same because that's when you're going to rob Peter to pay Paul, like you're saying. Right, right. Like you don't want to basically continue making the same videos and just upload one to one channel and the other to the other and mm. go back and forth. That's not going to work. That's when, you know, opening a new channel is actually going to kill your first one. And that's not what you want. You want to open a new channel where you get more views and it pushes more views back to the first channel. So you get like double the views, more than double the views. Yeah. And then for every... Because you're going to have discovery on the new channel that's yeah. going to lead people back to the... Yeah. Other. And yeah, then the sure. first channel can push a lot of subscribers because they already recognize that creator and now they have their own channel. So it's fast growth. It's fast view velocity. It's just a lot that happens quick and it has a unique twist to it, which is also very important, which can be difficult to figure out too. So, so what did you have to, what did you do to figure out the new program? Like, like how did you decide what type of program you're going to do on the new channel? So for, I, I do thinking back and it's been about a couple of years since I branched off to the second channel, which uh, is my channel coming from Stevens. And a lot of what I did on Steven, like what we did together was a lot of my own interests. So it was tough for me to kind of figure out what my like new flavor is going to be. So I kind of had to like reach deep into like my like passions and stuff. And a lot of it was like, you know, dirt bikes, like, you know, kind of big extreme stuff like BMX stuff. So some of the first videos that I did would be like jumping a dirt bike over a car or like a backflip into the pond, you know, <laughs> and those are the ones that, you know, I tried to kind of put my like a foot down where it's like, here's you know, you recognize me. I have a similar voice. I have a similar branding, but check and out similar parents because they're the similar, same one. Similar, yeah. parents, <laughs> similar house, similar everything. And Steven's probably in a lot of my videos as well. So I got to, I got to make it different and it's got to be like, Whoa, like this is totally different, even though it's within like the same kind of like realm. And so I think, uh, starting there, um, it kind of just evolved, you know, and then as I kind of got deeper and deeper, you know, like now, if you look at Steven and I, Stevens and Ice channels, our content is so different. You know, it's so far different, not just because we live on opposite ends of the country as far as possible, basically. But no, the content is just too, super different, you know, because he kind of really favored a certain style of content that's just so different than mine. And I think that's played a really strong role. You know, his channel is super <laughs> successful, you know, and as is mine. And, you know, Liz has kind of similar stuff, a little bit more similar to my content, but, you know, her own twist to it. Yeah. How similar across the three channels are, I mean, are, are the audience? Is the audience? 
Um, I would say between Liz and I, it's probably similar, but she probably has attracts the the female audience more. Yeah. So so here's the true question because I, I I know a little bit about the data. So it's like. I, I think yours is a little bit older um, viewers than than Stevens, right? You're getting a little bit older than that. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. and then Liz makes the highest CPMs at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think I call it. Really? I call it. Um, are you, are you featured? Are you a featured creator? I don't. On Google Preferred, uh, it's hard. It's close. It, 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 it's hard it, to it, tell. Do they ever tell you? They do. Sometimes okay, so I don't if think you're lucky. I, okay, <laughs> I might it, sometimes. But, but, but you're getting much higher c- CPMs. So there's some truth. There's to something. This. There's something there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There's some truth to this because we were having a conversation. Okay, here comes a conspiracy theory from Daryl. No, hey, it's not conspiracy this. theory. This they is, say this is the truth. This is okay. how truth happens, Ricky. Whenever I say stuff, that's the truth. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll so, note that. Carter and I were having a conversation once again, and he's like, hey, we're thinking about spinning off, uh, you know, Liz to have her own channel. I says, oh, that's great. You know, whole segment. And YouTube has a lot of data on this. They're, they're looking for female creators. Like one thing, they want diversity on the platform and they're really wanting to feature, uh, you know, female creators. And then two, they're looking for other ethnicities. And I'm like, bing, 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 bing. You got it right there. <laughs> you know, you have everything that's going on. I says, you know, the, the, the approach should be solid. She's already integrated in. You just got to have to figure out a way, once again, not to, to, to rob Peter to pay Paul. And once again, they had the plan to do it. And what I did, what I did notice more than anything else, it's like you did try things that didn't work. And you're like, okay, maybe we need to pivot because it, you know, it was too, too extreme on some yeah. of that content. Could you talk about that? Yeah, that I process? think... I think there's definitely kind of like if we posted, so if I posted a video on my channel that was completely different than what we've been posting, it's kind of like a shock to our viewers and, you know, they don't know if they're going to like it because they know what they like from us and Mm -hmm. that's why they watch us. So I think the way we eased into it, um, we had an open mind of like, let's try all these things and build a library and kind of like cast our net wide and that way we can learn what my audience likes and it's going to be very similar to what Carter's audience likes because that's, you know, that's why he has an audience in the first place. But, um, it was a lot of experimenting for sure. I think even for Carter's in the beginning, we experimented a lot. Quite a bit, yeah. And that's just, that's how you learn. And it's easier on a new channel because it's lower risk. And if you don't get the views that you want to see, it's not as bad as, you know, on like a more developed channel. So we definitely did a lot of experimenting. I, do, I tried a lot of like girlier things mm-hmm. like makeup and all that stuff. And to be honest, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. And I was like, I need to stay true to myself. And it was more authentic, more authentic exactly. to who you are. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And it was, I think it, I kind of found my voice through just all the experimentation. I, I mean, I feel like we are still kind of experimenting even now. Like, uh, I mean, is there any the video? Oh, uh, saying, once the creators stop reinventing themselves, that's when they die off. Like mm-hmm. I, I truly do sure. believe that. Yeah. Sure. And oh yeah. For every channel that we've created, Liz brings up a great point. Like we've always had this like crazy experimentation phase where we would just like, you know, like Liz could be makeup one day and then writing a derp like the next day, or like Q and A's to like just crazy different stuff. And that's kind of how we're doing the channels that we're just building up now is they're doing like anywhere from like straight gaming to vlogs to mukbang to like, you know, coloring shoes and who can make the best art, you know, like just completely different stuff. Okay, how's videos. your mukbang videos yeah. doing? Uh, <laughs> you know, they're actually doing pretty well. Surprisingly, yeah. you know, wow, I wouldn't wow. have thought it would have been I, a good idea, but <laughs> like you let them learn. If ever going to start a YouTube channel, that's what it would be. Mukbang. Oh, for sure. Like, you, oh, for sure. You, seriously. Oh yeah, I, I would watch you eat. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't remember the last time I ate in the house. <laughs> yeah. I, I do travel like sixty percent of the time. But uh, was there ever a time where you guys had like this? Well, Liz, you specifically had like an aha moment. Like, okay, I gotta start creating more videos like this. So Carter's just like a genius at. I think he's so good at everything he does, mm-hmm. and he'll help me direct my videos, which you don't think <laughs> about as a creator because you're just like, oh, let's uh, pop up a video vlog camera and film something fun, but there's actually so much more structure that's involved nowadays in when we create our content. And I think 
when he was kind of helping me direct one of my videos and, you know, you see the watch time and it's super thick and you're just like, wow, this is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. That's when I was like, okay, we need to focus way more on um, structuring our videos so they're easily digestible. <laughs> Words from Carter's mouth. Interesting. <laughs> let's, let's stop right there. Did you see that? that yeah. Non-verbal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Easily digestible. Like Carter's losing it right here. <laughs> so, context. So, so, please. Wait, wait. Uh, I can already tell you that they've had fights on this. This is awesome. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I think the so answer to your the question, fight. the aha moments are like... <laughs> going back to the original question. <laughs> don't, go, don't go off this. We're not going to let you off this. No, it's going, it's going to tie it all back in. So, it's not like... And we, have, we see it all the time. Like, oh, this video was like a banger. That's really good. But a lot of it, what we've come to realize is like, film whatever you you want but make it so your watch time is x amount and then that's going to do really good right and so that's kind of like what i've been really trying to push for for liz i'll see her film and see like this lack of structure and i want to encourage her like okay well if you want to consume a 25 minute video you got to have it like the structured and the build up for it yeah and i figured out a model that works like every time and so if i see you're kind of like doing something that's just like so disorganized or going too fast and you're not going to fill a 25 minute video i try to step in and help like Hey, let's just redo that scene, but do it this way. It's going to be way more like easy to digest that content. And so that was what the look that she gave me there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that, that, that was the gentle explanation. <laughs> I'll bet she was a little bit more heated. But anyway, sure. <laughs> the truth comes out. So, yeah, I, no, I find this fascinating. I really do. And I, and I think, and I do agree, um, Carter is a genius at really understanding story development. Um, I think it's his engineering background because he's like yeah. he has an engineering path of okay, this is what it needs to look like. We have a background yeah. of autonomous driving, so well, that's, that's well, that you, was just the one job that I had for a few months before I quit. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> were you like a data scientist? No, I was that, a computer uh, engineer and like robotics as well. So I did like microcontrollers, computer science, that kind of stuff. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so it was really so fascinating. You applied stuff. all of that creation. And, and to he has his dream job is okay, mom. We're quitting. You, we're going to go to YouTube videos, and we're going to live in your basement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nerf guns and water balloons at the time. So. Nerf guns and water balloons. They're, they're the nicest and fidget spinners. Yeah. They really yeah. Are.